The local government in Nigeria refers to that form of government that is the closest to the people. As elections draw near, governorship candidates of the Up Progressive Congress APC in Delta State, Oloro Gwotsega Emeho, highlighted critical survey of the performance of government at the grassroots and revealed that the much desired developments are not there for the rural or grassroots people to enjoy. Meet the aspiration of the average Delta. Raise their terms from the level of poverty they are today. Create employment for a minimum of one million youths within the shortest possible time. Create industries that will absorb people. Create this 10 billion fund that market women, women that are interested in other vocation, youths that have ideas and want to be trained in vocation, small businesses that have deficit in capital are encouraged. I believe that it will be a trigger that we have a multiplier effect on the direction of the development of economic activity in Delta State. Statistics reveal that over 65% of Nigerian population lives in rural areas, which of course have serious implications for the welfare of the people, a task he believes should be the responsibility of the government. It's to bring government nearer the people and support the various local governments as centers for development. What we have today is an attempt to do all that we must do from the very center. Yet, our constitution provides for three tiers of government. The local government is nearer to the people, but they have a deficit of funding. Most of the funding they get today goes straight to pay for recurrent expenditure. The APC candidate, Oloro Gumotega Meho, accused the current PDP-led government of Imania Uduaha of not being sensitive and alive to the responsibilities of providing basic amenities for the benefit of the people and alleged fault lines he promised to fix if elected governor of the state in the forthcoming gubernatorial election. Where we show interest in the budgets of the local government, where we look at the, the requirements of development in each local government, where we are able to establish the roads that need to, the, the infrastructure that need to be developed, constructed, and completed in each local government. Where we look at the facilities, health facilities, school facilities, industrial facilities that are resident in each local government and assess the stage of such development and partner with the local government to take these challenges on. Like many experts agree, the problem is not with the system, but with those who operate the system. The more reason it has been suggested over time, the strengthening of citizens at the grassroots lies with development through further exploitation of the agricultural sector. A comprehensive agro-based agro structure uh, scheme that we ensure that we are able to encourage agriculture and farming, which has been the mainstay of our economy, but today has been substantially abandoned. Again, a private sector-led government has been canvassed as strategy for development amidst growing unemployment and poverty. A private sector-led government, we allow government resources to provide counterpart funding for development funds that will come from outside. Because we have resources that are attractive to the outside world, I do know that there are development agencies that are ready to partner with us. Therefore, the bulk of the responsibility falls with the government, getting closer to the people as the electorate look up to the government in meeting their yearnings and aspirations, a change they are willing to make at the judgment day, right at the poll. For on TV News, John Emanuel.